All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing this word in all truth and in all sincerity. And um, we're just going to talk about how Jake is just spellbound, all right, by, uh, you know, this uh, present evil world, okay? You know, our people, they don't want to change their ways. They want to continue with folly and wickedness, all right? And the reason why is because it makes the flesh feel good, all right? It makes them feel, you know, they feel good when they smoke weed, when they pop a pill, you know, when they, you know, have sex with anything and everything, okay? That's why they do uh, all these things. Hey, women get off uh, on being in power right now, you know? But ultimately, that's a death style rather than a lifestyle. A lot of people are going to figure that out, you know, very soon. Some of them are actually figuring, uh, figuring it out right now. They're in hospitals, all right? You know, their life is in shambles. You know, for instance, like you got all these uh, celebrities, right? You know, they yeah, they may have some riches of this world, but their life is in shambles. And some of them don't even have the finances anymore. You know? Mm -hmm. All right? They, they, they found out that, you know, uh, you know, selling out, all right? And, you know, working for the devil doesn't, you know, uh, pay off in the end. Okay? But ultimately, you know, our people, they're just spellbound. And that's really because the Lord, you know, blinded them. Hey, if you can get that, what is that? Uh, the... Uh, 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 the elect hath obtained it. Was it Romans? Uh, was yeah, it eleven Romans. and seven. seven. Okay. Yeah. All right. And so it talks about the rest were blinded. Okay. okay. If you can start off with that, that should yeah. be good. Yeah, Romans chapter eleven, verse seven. What then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, mm -hmm. but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Yeah. So, you know, naturally, you know, Israelites are looking for the truth. That's why you have our people and all sorts of, you know, philosophy, philosophies and ideologies, okay? And, um, you know, the only ones who have the truth are the elect, okay? That's why it talks about how the uh, the elect hath obtained it. They've obtained what? The, tr the truth, all right? But it said what? But the rest were blinded, all right? The two-thirds the two of our people, they're gone. The Lord actually has a, a what is that? In a, is that in the book of Isaiah? Where it talks about how you got those angels, they um, blocking them. Yeah, they're, they're blocking their uh, spiritual uh, eyes and ears. What's that? The sixth chapter, six and nine. Get that real quick. All right. The Lord actually has angels, all right, set up in place to blind our people. Okay. Yeah. That's why you you can break the truth down. All right. You know, where basically a kindergarten can understand it. All right, a kindergartner. Okay. That they can get it. It, you it, you can break it down as easy as ABCs, one, two, threes. But look, if um, as the scriptures say, it's plain unto the holy, but unto the wicked is stumbling blocks. They just can't get it, and that's because mm. the Lord ultimately has um, angels blocking them. That's why for you brothers out there and you sisters who have this truth, a hey, hold fast what you have. Okay, be meek and, and don't uh, um, neglect this truth, man. All right. Don't take it for granted. You got it, Doc? Yeah, this is Isaiah 6, verse 9. And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not. Mm -hmm. And see ye indeed, but perceive not. Yep. Make the heart of this people fat, and make their eyes heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert, and be healed. All right, so the, the Lord has it where... You know, two thirds of our own people, hey, they're just not going to receive this, man, because the Lord already knows uh, what they're going to choose. They're going to always choose wickedness, because like John eight and forty four, year of your father the devil. Two thirds of our own people are, are always turning away from the Lord. Here it is: the Lord has His arm, His hand stretched out to them to receive them. He says, "You've played the whore, come, but come back to me, because you're mine." You know what I'm saying? And two thirds, hey, they're not dealing, man. They don't want to deal with the Lord. That's why in Sirach 27 and 9, it says the birds will resort unto their like, so will truth return unto them that practice in her, man. And every generation, man, it was always two-thirds that kept rebelling and rebelling. Like, we've all fallen short. All of us. You know what I'm saying? But two-thirds specifically, they're not. A, they, there's no accountability with them. All right? They don't want to consider it. They don't want to turn back to the Lord. All right? 
Because you know, they want to continue in this dark, wicked uh, uh, place, man. Because it pleases the flesh. Yeah, exactly. Hey, yeah. man, even going back to what? I think it was in the time of, um, of Moses after the uh, after we got out of Egypt. I, I, I believe it was Moses said uh, 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 basically, hey, hey, this day, choose life or death, man. Kind of, yeah, he did. Hey, hey you know, he um, you know, pretty much, you know, drew that, you know, that line in the sand. And, you know, hey, choose a side. What side are you going to be on? And look, two-thirds, they're like, you know, hey, I, was, hey, I can have a little fun right now. You know, right now, I don't have to wait, for, you know, for, you know, the kingdom. I can do, you know, uh, do some wickedness, all right, and have fun you know, right now, this instant. You know what? I'm going to choose death. You see, the one-third, they, they, um, hey, they've considered the, uh, the outcome of what, uh, 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 of uh, um, basically, uh, how would I word this? They've considered the outcome of of being wicked. All right, they understand that it leads to death. All right, so the one third has always what? Hey, they 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 they've always said, you know what? I'm gonna serve the Lord, be obedient to the best of my ability, and choose life. Mm -hmm. You know. God. All right, and that stuff is still happening to this very day. You got some? Uh, God, this is Isaiah 28 and 15. Because ye have said, we have made a covenant with death, mm. and with hell are we at agreement. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall not come unto us. For we have made lies our refuge, and under falsehood have we hid ourselves. Yep. And that's two-thirds, basically, man. All right? They've made that covenant with, you know, with basically death, which is Esau, all right? Because we know Esau is his death. All right? And, um... You know, our people, they just sold out. And they really believe that, you know, that that those lies, okay, is going to be their refuge, all right? That falsehood. But really, they're, they're going to find out that, that look, Esau's not for them. Hey, the, the, the ways of evil isn't for them, okay? The ways of wickedness. They're going to they're gonna learn the hard way. They're going to learn the hard way. Hey, they're going to be what? Uh, what does it talk about? Uh, they're they're going to know a death by pain? You oh, know? kind of. I was holding that. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, you know, see, our people, they're going to know. See, that's when it's going to hit them. When they're, you know, in, in dire straits. Mm -hmm. When they're in the worst case scenario. I'm talking about the worst case, starving to death. All right, they, they're still alive. They got broken legs, crawling, trying to get to safety. Man, they, they're, they're going to know when they're getting, as they're get as they're tied up to, uh, uh, to a damn wall, all right. Being the next victim to to a gang of, of freaks. That's when they're gonna realize, man. You know what? Hey, this wasn't a good choice, being evil and being wicked. But by then, it's too late. Yeah. This is your judgment. All right. Kind of. So, man, I was just thinking about that movie in the in the road right now, man. They, they you know how they walked into that that one like farmhouse. Yeah. They go down into the basement and you got like a dozen people chained to a damn wall and stuff, man, or whatever. Chained mm -hmm. to beds and stuff. Getting eat they, they, they were uh, these people were getting their limbs cut off by cannibals. And then they would uh you know they the, the cannibals would like basically like you know um uh put salt, whatever they do, like to heal the, the womb, all right? Cotalize Yeah, con. They do all that. All right. You know, just to keep them alive, so they, so these people can, the cannibals can still eat them. I'm just thinking about that. That's gonna happen, man. We're gonna see some sick, freaky mm -hmm. stuff out here, man. America's man, man. This place is about to get rocked, man. All right, with all sorts of plagues, man. Okay. Now, this is Second Ezra chapter nine, verse nine. Then, then shall they be in pitiful case, which thou have abused my ways. And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. And these are some of the torments the brother's going into, man. All right, these are some examples of what's coming ahead for you two-thirds, man. All right, verse 10. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, because the Lord makes it rain on the just and the unjust. He takes care of everybody, man. All right? But the wicked don't consider. Verse 11. And they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty, man. Here it is, you have the, the chance right now to do what is right, you see? To turn back to the Lord and keep the laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. But but you guys uh, you guys are not doing that, man. 
while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. Mm -hmm. All right, you you hate it, man. Here it is. For, here's mercy and forgiveness and life, man. Everlasting life here at your door. And, and you despise it, man. You don't want no part of it, man. And it's only for you. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians. This is for you, man. The Lord died for you. And two-thirds don't get it, man. That's why two-thirds are going to get death by pain. Uh, verse 12, the same must know it after death by pain. Mm. All right, because... You know, I, I know guys in the world when when I woke up to the truth, I told them about the truth, and they're, they 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 want to just keep w living wicked, man. They say, "Oh well, we're gonna make it." You know, if 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 I'm gonna be a two third and die on this side and be in the kingdom, well, what's the point? The point is, you know, to get to that other side, you're gonna go through death by pain, and it's not gonna be a quick, easy death like you may imagine. The scriptures tell you that in that day, many shall seek death and will not find it. All right, the Lord is going to put you through your worst nightmare and then amplify it, man. All right? And you're going to be burned. Do you understand that? You're going to fucking be burned. All right? That thermonuclear fire ain't no joke, man. You're going to be standing and everything about you is going to melt away. All right? Just like in that Terminator 2, that Sarah Connor scene. All right? That should be putting fear in you, man. All right? If you have uh, loved ones and children... This is the fight you got to be in, man, fighting for the Lord, man. He's the only way for you and your family to make it, all right? Because everybody you that you know that you love, if you're a two-third, if you're wicked as fuck, you're going to see them all perish, man, right before your eyes, and you're going to you're gonna die too, man, because this shit is real, all right? Death and destruction is coming on a high new level here, man, all right? Like a time like never seen before ever since the beginning of this place was made, man. The worst day ever in in history is coming and it's coming specifically for you two-thirds because it tells you in first peter 4 and 17 that judgment must begin at the house of the most high and if it first begin at us that we know like we we know the truth all right judgment is going to come at us man but the lord is going to uh, have that hedge around us all right that, that that's the wall that exemption from judgment lord willing all right but for the rest of you two-thirds hey man you two-thirds are, are through man all right, because you, you didn't consider and you despise the Lord, man. All right, instead of uh, begging him for mercy and forgiveness. Oh, I got a scripture. Oh, okay, go ahead. This is Isaiah 47 and 13. Thou art wearied in the multitude of thy counsels. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. Behold, they shall be as stubble. Mm. The fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. There shall not be a coal to warm at, nor fire to sit before it. Yeah, and then Isaiah 47 is going into, you know, Babylon the Great, right? You know, we know that uh, Esau and, and Babylon are, the, you know, uh, that, that's uh, synonymous with each other. But you, go, you can also relate this all to the two-thirds because what, as the brother said, what is it, uh, that John 8 and 44 talk about how our people... Are um are like their father the devil, all right? Meaning they're like these Edomites. And what did it say there? What did that first part say? It'll go to your pronosticators, God. your astrologers, and you got our people that are all into that. God. They're all into that, that that witchcraft. You know they're into um oh you know what is that uh that astrology? God. They're heavy into that. Oh you you're a Taurus and you know you're a Leo, <laughs> you're a Cancer, you you know you're a Gemini. They're all into that that weird stuff, man. All right. <laughs> And yes, there is a righteous aspect to it, which we'll get on, you know, um, on the other side. You know, once we get into the kingdom, we're going to have more understanding of the, you know, of the stars and the, you know, what it all means. But how these people uh, use it, it's all wickedness, man. And that stuff is not going to save them, man, in that day. Okay. All right. Ooh. It's not. They're going to be destroyed. But you um, see, RP, you got some? I was going to bring out the definition for prognosticator. Yeah, w w yep, just get it out. Con, this is a, the definition for prognosticator is a, a person who foretells or prophesies a future event. Yeah, a uh, fortune teller, man. Oh. All right? You know, that that's what that's going into, man. And you got our people that go to that all the time. Oh, oh let me read, let me go to those, uh, what is that, um, those people that read the tarot cards and, oh, let, you know, let them read my fortune, you know, my fortune, let me get my, my palm read. They're all into that, man. People are, all right, man. Can you get the what is it? The 
uh, that one in Proverbs, the um, the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the uh, the yeah. wicked seduces them. All right. You see, our people that they've been um seduced by the ways of this world, you know, because they see what the wicked on top, and and and, and basically, Esau does what nothing but uh, witchcraft, evilness. Okay, so our people believe that in order to get on top, they have to do the same thing. That's why the scriptures in that that uh, what is it Proverbs three and thirty one? It talks about envy not thou. Uh, the oppressor, uh, the and, choose oppressor none of his ways. and choose none of his ways. Yeah. And why is why is that? Because his end is going to be um, destructive. Okay, go read Job the twentieth chapter. It talks about how this is the portion of the wicked man. Okay, and when you read it, it goes into basically how Esau is going to get destroyed by thermonuclear de uh, destruction. How all the riches that he stole, how he you know he gathered it up. All right, he's going to have to vomit it back up. Okay, that's the portion of the wicked man. Horrible is the end of an unrighteous generation. Mm, okay. Yeah. You see, we our people, they don't have that um, that eye salve. All right, they don't have uh, what does it say um, vision. Uh, uh, they don't have that vision uh, where there is no vision, the people perish. Mm -hmm. You see, our people, they don't have that vision. They don't have the understanding. Okay, of what's to come. They don't see the end of Esau, and that's because he's in power. All right, but get that Proverbs. This is Proverbs 12 and 26. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. Yeah, because naturally, Jake is more excellent than Esau. Mm -hmm. Hey, well, what does it say? One's going to be uh, come out uh, stronger than the other? Yeah. All right. That's Genesis, the 25th chapter. We're, we're, hey, we're better than the, everybody on this uh, planet. You know, spiritually, first and foremost. Physically, mentally, emotionally. Our people are the best, man. Uh, creatively, mm -hmm. all that we're the best. Well, what does it say? But the way of the wicked seduces seduces them. So the way of the wicked seduces them. That's why mm -hmm. our people are into all this madness, man. Okay, they're into this madness because the the wicked are in rulership right now. So they believe that. Well, if I you know uh, you know do a, a blood sacrifice, if I get into an orgy. Okay, if I do this, if I do that, then things are going to go good for me. You know what? I'll say this. They will go good for you temporarily. Mm -hmm. Like how Esau uh, is getting everything temporarily. All right? But what's going to happen eventually? A great calamities, destructions, and hell is going to come upon you. Okay? And this can happen before uh, the time of Jacob's trouble. This can happen uh, right now. Hey, look, look at all these celebrities right now, man. What, what are they doing? Half of them are going bankrupt, living in uh, RVs and stuff, decked out RVs, thinking, you know, trying to make it trendy and cool. That's not cool, man. You got to live in an RV on the West Coast, driving up and down, uh, uh, you know, uh, the coast from, you know, uh, was the Pacific, all right? Going from L.A. to to, to, uh, to, to Seattle. That's not cool, bro. Mm -hmm. Just to do, you know, try to get a couple gigs here and there. You know, do you make your little guest appearance? That's not cool, man. All right? Our people are smoked, man. God. Even if they got money, look at them, man. They're just smoked through. Spiritually just just done. Depressed. Drugged out. Done. Yeah, I got one for you. This, yep. uh, this is a prophecy that's going to come up upon these uh, two-thirds that, you know, got their constellation that are rich on this side, you know? Luke 26 and 24, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai speaking. But woe, which is woe is destruction, but woe unto you that are rich. Oh. For ye have received your consolation. And, and consolation meaning like the second place prize, man. <laughs> Not the first. All right, you got some 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 bogus ass shit and, and you're all excited about it, man, on this side. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. All right, so... Yes, you may be living it up right now. You may have, you know, a bigger crumb than most and have your house, uh, your, your vehicles, you know, your summer houses. You get to travel. You've done so much on this side, all right? But now you're going to know what it is to mourn and to weep and not, and, and not have any help. Because in this day, when it comes, you're not going to be able to run to Esau for help. No one's going to help you, man. All right? Because you, you trusted in riches and vanity, man. All right? 
Instead of trusting in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and turning back onto him. You know, uh, Moses, who grew up in Pharaoh's house, uh, he esteemed it very little and, and he went to suffer with his own people, all right, than to live in pleasure and, and, and luxury for a season, you know, roughly paraphrasing, you know, nope. the Hebrews chapter, all right? Because this shit is all temporary, man. Mm -hmm. Here it is, Jake wants to, to be successful in captivity. All right, we're we're behind enemy lines right here. You, do you understand that? And, and you're trying to build a life here for you and your your future children, your generations to come, not knowing that this place is gonna uh, be burned up, man. We're telling you this place is gonna be destroyed by fire. America will not stand. America, Lord willing, does not have another five or ten years, man. All right, Lord willing, deliverance comes very soon, man. Lord willing, it comes this year, man. That's what we're hoping for, because it's gonna come. All right, it's gonna come, man. That's right. Okay, oh yeah. yeah, go ahead. This is uh, uh Jeremiah thirty and fourteen. All thy lovers have forgotten thee; they seek thee not. For I have wounded thee with the wound of an enemy, mm. with the chastisement of a cruel one, for the multitude of thine iniquity, because thy sins were increased. Mm. And you know, all your lovers, what's that? Your astrologers, your monthly prognosticators, all these doctrines and philosophies that got you guys bugged out. They have absolutely <laughs> forgotten thee. Really, uh, man. Really, actually, um, that goes into uh, the other nations. Oh, all right, which not. they do what? Bring what? Every nation brings in what though? A philosophy, you know. You say, for instance, you know, out here in America, it's what, do as thou will, all right. You then you got what? what? You go to um, China. They they uh, uh, worship what? They uh, you know Buddha, you know Buddhism, etc., etc. All, all these all these nations, they 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 for they they're, they're not they're not dealing with you, man. All right. They're not dealing with you. They don't care about you. Look, all, all it comes down to with them is they want your money, man. They want you to build up their kingdom. They want you to be lowly so they can be on top. Mm -hmm. They may, hey, go, hey, as the scripture say in the book of Judges, go run to your gods, man. See if they're going to help you in that day. Good. You know? But get, get that one in our revelation when we talked about Babylon has the souls of men. And look, see, for our two, the two thirds of our people... Everything was just predestined for them not to, you know, get this truth. All right? A Babylon a, has their mind, man. They're spellbound. They can't get out of it. See, that's one thing, you know, especially for, you know, younger brothers. Don't get upset when, you know, your 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 dad or your mom or, you know, your brother, your best friend or in the world, whoever it was, you know what I'm saying? That you love, you know, dearly. If, if they don't don't be surprised when they can't get it, man. And don't get angry. Don't get upset. It is what it is. That's why it's just good to accept, you know, uh, it, it, hey, just accept it, you know. And just be grateful that you have this truth because, you know what, you could be bugged out like them. You could be still bugged out, man. You know what I mean? You, you could have been in the world still. Okay. Well, this is Revelation 18. I'll start up at 11. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her. For no man buyeth their merchandise any more, the merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones and of pearls and fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and all thine wood and all manner vessels of ivory, ivory and all manner vessels of most precious wood and of brass and iron and marble and cinnamon and odors and ointments and frankincense and wine and oil and fine flour and wheat and beast and sheep and horses and chariots and slaves and souls of men. Yeah, so basically that's all what's in Babylon, okay? All those things that you've heard, all right? And the main thing is what? It has the souls of men, meaning the minds. This place has these people's minds, man, you know? These people are um, spellbound by what? You know, all the enchantments, all right? Whether it be through your music, through social media, through uh, the television, Okay, through all the advertisement, hey, people are spellbound. They can't get out of the matrix, man. God, they're trapped in it. You see, we we hey, the, the, uh, as the scriptures say, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Exactly. Hey, we got the truth, and we're free. We're spiritually free. We're spiritually, 
Well, hey, we're spiritual runaway slaves right now. We're we're gone. We're we we we've left the plantation, man. While you guys are still there, it's like in the movie. Um, man, I don't know if you brothers seen that movie, uh, Interview with the Vampire. Oh, classic, yeah. You know, of course. And <laughs> you know how the he, you know he was all sick, and you know he you know when he because uh, uh, the character he was a uh, um, a slave owner it was in Louisiana, mm -hmm. in New Orleans, if I'm not mistaken, right? You know the character was it a uh, Brad Pitt's character? Yeah. And he was all messed up. He, he didn't want anybody by him because he knew he was, you know, uh, basically turning into this vampire, right? Mm -hmm. And you had what? You had all them Jake slaves still there. They were still there. And that's how Jake is, man. They don't know what to do without Esau. Right. They, they, they didn't want to stay by this guy's side. Even though he's all disease-ridden, basically he's on his deathbed. Jake still wants to, Master, are you okay? Like, are you out, you're out of your damn mind. What did, the, what did he have to do? Uh, the, the, in the movie, the Brad, you know Brad Pitt's character, he had to scare them, man. Tell them to go, to go, and he's the damn devil, man. That's when they they flood. They're like, oh shit. But see, that's Jake, though, man. Hey, they're homeborn slaves. They're through, man. And that's because they they're they're a uh, 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 Babylon has the, their soul, man, meaning their mind. Ooh. All right. I, I'm going to give this little account of Stalin, all right, okay. of what he said. He, he, did an exam, he set an example of what we're going into. Stalin once ripped all the feathers off a live chicken as a lesson to his followers. He then set the chicken on the floor a short distance away. The chicken was bloodied and suffering immensely. Yet, when Stalin began to toss some bits of wheat toward the chicken, it followed him around. He said to his followers, this is how easy it is to govern stupid people. They will follow you no matter how much pain you cause them, as long as you throw them a little worthless treat once in a while, like this stimmy check. <laughs> exactly. And that's why our people want to stay around, all right? Hey, you know, yeah, they go through all this hell, right? But then they, they get a, you know, a day, you know, what is it, a, a so-called holiday, get a day or two off, a little vacation. Might not even have to work, get unemployment. Get paid to be, you know, sit at the house. As the brothers talked about, hey, you get a little stimulus check, get your little income tax. I, you know, certain of our people, oh, they get a little position of power, you know, they get a, you know, maybe a business or two. They're, they're doing great, man. But really, that those are crumbs, man. Mm -hmm. You know, for uh, wait, what the elite have? That's crumbs, man. You know, hey, but our people are smoked, man. They, they're, they're done. That's why the Lord, hey, he's about to do away with two thirds, save the one third. And basically uh, start all over again, so to speak. That reset button is about to get hit. All right? And then, look, in the kingdom, you two-thirds that were destroyed, all you rebels and all that, you know, of our people, you're going to be destroyed uh, on this side. And, look, in the kingdom, you're going to be in your right mind. And hey, all is going to be forgiven. And we're, hey, we're just going to be, you know, good as a whole nation, man. All right? That's pretty much it. You brothers got anything else? No. Uh, and with that, you know... We hope this was edifying. And with that, you know, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom, I'm in a Baba Ball. A Baba Ball.